What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've made my way down to Hendrick Lexus Northlake, getting to check out the 2021 Lexus ES350 F Sport. Huge shout out to them for providing this sedan for me today. Make sure you guys check out their website. That will be down in the description below. This model here is finished off in Manador Red Mica and it has an MSRP just over $52,000. Let's go ahead and jump into today's review by starting up underneath the hood where you'll find the three and a half liter V6 engine. This is paired to the eight speed automatic transmission and it pumps out 302 horsepower around 6,600 RPM and 267 pound feet of torque around 4,700 RPM. This model here is front wheel drive it weighs in around 3,600 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in the mid five second range up to its top speed of 143 miles an hour. And with a fuel capacity of 15.9 gallons, you can expect to see around 22 miles per gallon in the city and 31 out on the highway. This has a wheelbase of 113 inches. Its overall length is 195.9. It has a width of 73.4 and a height of 56.9 inches. With all those specs out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the exterior walk around on the ES350 F Sport. So I'm gonna start front and center with the hourglass design shape for the grill. It has a really nice look to it. I love this black chrome. It's a great accent against the red. And you can see there's a really cool design in the mesh. It's also going to provide maximum cooling for this engine. And you'll see there are two forward facing sensors along with an integrated sensor in the Lexus badge. So that's a really nice design. How that's incorporated into one so you don't see that somewhere else breaking up the grill just makes it look much cleaner. On the sides here, you'll see the triple beam LED headlights. And what I really love about these headlights is that they actually wrap around to the side of the vehicle. So from the side, you can see the DRL in the lower section of the headlight housing and it protrudes into the bumper, which is a really nice design. I love these sharp lines in the DRL as well. Makes it look very aggressive for this vehicle. And just above that, we have the turn signals as well. You'll also notice down below, there's some more black along with parking sensors. And then as we work our way up to the hood now, you can see lines from the grill actually extend into the hood and we have clean lines running down the hood as well. So it ties in together nicely and gives the front end of the ES350 a really nice design. Making our way to the side profile now, I'm gonna start off with these wheels. They measure 19 inches. They have a multi-spoke design to them and the finish is a great contrast against this red. So I really like that combo. You'll see the F Sport badge just behind that and then making our way to the side mirrors. They are power folding. You'll see they have a two-tone design to them being half body colored, half black, and they also have a chrome trim separating both of those colors. They also feature the integrated turn signal. And then up top, this features a sunroof. You'll see even more chrome trim surrounding all of the windows. And then running right through the middle of the door, you'll see there's a trim molding piece there just to give it a really cool look. Aside from that, we have really clean lines running down the side profile to give it a great look. And finishing up in the rear, I'm gonna start off with this trunk mounted spoiler. I think it gives the rear end of the ES350 a really nice design and I love how it's flush with the trunk so it doesn't overhang on the bodywork. It just gives it a very clean design. You'll also notice that the LED taillights wrap around to the side profile as well and there's even more black chrome. You can see that trim piece running across the top section of the housing. It goes right through the middle of the trunk where you'll also notice the integrated backup camera. You'll see the F Sport badge on the left side along with ES350 on the right. All the integrated parking sensors are right in the middle section of the bumper. And then down below, we have the dual exhaust. Now it's time to go ahead and take a look at the interior on the ES350 F Sport. So with the vehicle locked, you can see the side mirrors are currently folded in. All I have to do is grab on the door handle. Those will automatically fold out and then we can go ahead and move on to this door panel where you'll see it's covered in leather. We have really nice stitching and there's a really nice trim piece that runs across the top section as well. You'll also notice that on the release handle, we have all the memory seating adjustments. This also features a 10 speaker Mark Levinson audio sound system. You have all the window controls and side mirror adjustments with another trim piece surrounding them. And then in the lower section of the door, you can see even more storage space. Moving on to the door sill now, you can see Lexus spelled out along with F Sport ES down on the floor mats. And now we can go ahead and take a look at these beautiful black leather seats. F Sport is embossed in the headrest there. You can see the stitching running down the bolsters. They are heated and ventilated seats as well, and they have a really nice design to them. And then on the sides, of course, we have all the power adjustments. And now once inside with my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and start it up. And then looking at this gauge cluster, you'll see on the left side is the engine temperature along with the odometer. On the right side is the fuel gauge and the clock. 
And then right in the middle we have the TAC and in the center there's also an LCD screen to look at a lot more information. So currently you can see the miles per hour along with the gear selector right next to that. And then just below that we can use buttons on the left side of the steering wheel to scroll through a lot of information. So you can look at your current and live MPG along with your average. You can scroll down and look at your distance pacing when you have that on and active. You can also look at your range. There's your gear position along with TPMS. And then making our way to the steering wheel now, you'll see it's completely covered in solid black leather. We have more of that stitching. It's perforated on the sides as well. Gives you a really good hand support. Over on the left side, these are the controls I was using for that gauge cluster. You also have volume for the radio along with your Bluetooth and voice commands, a back button along with a customizable button. And then on the right side of the steering wheel, we have all the cruise and adaptive cruise control settings with your distance pacing and lane keeping assist, and then some more controls for the radio. This also has the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, which have a really nice design to them. And making your way to the left side of the steering wheel now, you'll see down below we have the trunk release along with the fuel cap release. We can open up this compartment here if you'd like to place any items there. We can also turn on and off the heads up display. So if we turn that on right now, you can see the tack along with the miles per hour and what gear you're in along with the distance pacing when that is active. Just above that, we have a really nice trim piece along with one air vent. You can see the trim piece from the door extends into the dash as well. And then right above the gauge cluster, on the left side, we have the stock for your traction control, which you can turn on and off. On the right side, we can adjust the different driving modes. So by twisting this up, you'll see it goes into sport mode. If we twist it down, that'll go into eco mode. If I push on the stock, it goes back to normal. So you'll see the tack change depending on your driving mode. Looking at the center screen now, you'll see a clock over on the left side, and on the right side is the 10.3 inch screen. To control this, we have all of those down below. You'll see this touchpad with Lexus on it. You can use your finger to scroll through all the items, which I'll show here soon. We have map and menu along with a back button. So with it on menu, you can see running across the bottom, you have all the information to go through, like your audio and phone. You can go into app or projection. That's how you can utilize your phone, play Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If I go all the way to climate and click on that pad, you can pull up that information on the left side. And currently we have the map over on the right side and you can use that mouse pad to go through this information. So if I want to adjust the fan speed, for example, I'll just click on that box there and swiping my finger up or down will adjust that. Over on the far right, you'll see shortcuts to your map and music along with the climates. So for the things that you use the most, you can quickly get to those. And if you want to see the map in full screen, all I have to do is click on the shortcut button down below and pull that up. So there's a lot of useful information to go through. You'll see two air vents just below that. And then we have a row of buttons for the climate control. So if you're not in that screen in the upper section there, you can quickly get to them. You can adjust the temperature for driver and passenger just by clicking on these dials here, which is really nice to see. You can shut this off. You have this fan speed where you like the air to go and all of those controls. You'll also see power and volume for the radio along with the engine start stop button. And we have a few other buttons to control that. Just below that, you'll see the heated and ventilated seat controls for driver and passenger along with a CD player. And then in front of the shifter, we can go ahead and open this up where you'll see a cup holder on one side and then we have some auxiliaries on the other side. And then with my foot on the brake, I'll go ahead and put the vehicle into reverse and you'll see the backup camera up here. You can click on this mouse pad to change the angle. So if you wanna do that, you have the option to and you can also shut off those guidelines if you'd like to as well. But it gives you great graphics as to what's behind you. We can also put the vehicle into drive, pop it over into manual mode. That will allow you to use the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. And you can see it's finished off in leather, which is a really nice touch. Just behind that, you'll see the brake hold assist. And then we have this functional cubby spot just behind that. You can see it's pretty deep right now. If you have a larger drink, you can use that. If you have a smaller one, you can push on this. And now we have about half as much space. So it's very versatile depending on what you have to put in that compartment. And then making our way to the center armrest now, you'll see it's finished off in leather. If we open this up, you'll see the wireless charging pad along with a good amount of storage space just behind that. So that's really nice to see. And you'll also notice more leather right here. You can rest your hand there to use this pad here. And then making our way to the glove box now, if I just push this button on the left side, you'll see we have a lot of space for all the items that have to go there. And now we can take one last look at the seats. Really nice to see F Sport up in the headrests. And as I mentioned earlier, this does have a sunroof, so we can go ahead and open that up. We have all those controls in the middle here, along with the touch sensitive dome lights. Jumping into the back seats now of the ES350, I'm gonna start off with the amount of room that's back here. It's actually pretty spacious. At five foot 10, I have no complaints with the room for my knees. I have the front seat set at my height, and I have about two or three inches above my head. 
So it's very comfortable to be in these back seats. And I love how they dip in just a little bit. So you have nice side support. You also have some nice amenities. There's two air vents right in the center, along with a 12 volt and a few USB ports. You have a little bit of storage space behind both front seats. And then right in the center, if you don't have a middle passenger, you have the armrest that you can fold down. There's two cup holders in the front section of it. And then you can also gain access to the trunk area. So you can fold down this lockable door if you have any larger items, which is really nice to see. It makes it a little bit more versatile. And last up, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the rear trunk storage space. So I'm just gonna use the button on the left side of the passenger taillight. Just by pushing on that, it will automatically open up. And now you can see there's a great amount of storage space for this four-door vehicle. You'll see over on the passenger side, there's a first aid kit. We also have some tie-down hooks if you wanna safely secure any more items. And there's also this optional net to help secure items even more. And you can see the Lexus carpeted floor mat, which is a great touch. So definitely a lot of room. Up top, you'll see there is one grab handle, which makes it very easy to close. All right, so getting the 2021 Lexus ES350 F Sport out on the road now, the first thing that I've noticed with this vehicle, having put a few miles on it so far, is just how comfortable it is to drive. It's been very comfortable and smooth. I really love how it's driving so far. It's also very quiet on the inside. There's no road noise, wind noise, vehicle noise. It's a very well insulated vehicle. So that's a great plus to this being a daily driver. If you just want something that's comfortable, it's going to get you from point A to point B. Have very nice luxurious interior as well and all the trim pieces and features and everything like that. But if you want something that's comfortable and quiet, this is definitely the vehicle to get. I've even had it in normal mode for most of this drive and giving it a little bit of gas. I don't see any issues with this getting up to the speed limit, merging into traffic and other situations like that. And that's just in normal mode. But if we go ahead and turn this right stock here, you'll see sport mode adjust on the center screen. And we have the tack change white now, which is really cool to see. Of course, getting into that sporty mode, you wanna see something a little bit more aggressive and we'll give it a little bit of gas here. <laughs> you can hear a little bit more of that exhaust slash engine noise which is really nice, of course, putting it into sport mode. And then you also have eco mode as well. If you wanna save on your MPG, a little bit more highway driving or city driving, something like that. So it's very versatile all around, depending on how you're going to daily drive this vehicle. And one thing that I also wanna do, let's pop it back into sport mode. We can use these paddle shifters now, which I love. They're in a really good spot. I love the size of them and the design of them too. They fit your fingers there really well, of course, behind the steering wheel. We'll go down to second gear. They're very responsive too, which is impressive to see. As soon as you upshift or downshift, you are into that next gear. But let's go ahead and move on to some of the other aspects to driving the ES350. And we'll talk about the overall visibility now. It's really easy to see in all directions. I love the fact too that these side mirrors are kind of pushed back on the doors just a little bit. So that actually allows you to see in front of them, both for the driver and the passenger, just gives you a little bit better visibility over both sides, which is really nice. And then looking over your left and your right shoulder, you can see out of the passenger glass there and the pillars are not really all that bulky. And then let's talk about the interior layout here. I love this center screen. It's very large. It's sunk into the dash just a little bit, but I love that design. It hides well from the sunlight, so you won't have any glare. We have the clock on the left side, very minimal buttons on the inside here too. And I love this trim piece from the glove box area, it extends all the way to the driver's side here, where there's also even more leather. So you can rest your knee there on the driver or passenger side, and you have some more leather and stitching, which is a great touch. But I love vehicles that have a minimal amount of buttons. So that's really nice to see. And along with being a great daily driver is the amount of room that you have for your backseat passengers. As you already saw in today's video, I could be back there for a good amount of time. I could go on a long cruise in the back seats and be very comfortable so I love to see that you have a lot of space for people or extra storage if you need it definitely a great interior the ES350 drives really well I've enjoyed my time being behind the wheel of this but I think that's gonna wrap it up for my walk around review and test drive behind the wheel of the 2021 Lexus ES350 F Sport once again huge shout out to Hendrick Lexus Northlake for providing this vehicle for me today Make sure you guys check out their website. That will be down in the description below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on our daily uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next video.